thank you so much for stopping by today. So I wanted to share with you a really quick seed haul um, that we ordered from Baker Creek Seeds a couple of weeks ago. And many of you know that the previous months, it's really been hard to order seeds with everything that is going on. A lot of companies had kind of halted their sales to home gardeners and they were focusing on the farmers. And so, we couldn't order seeds for a while, but I think that has now um, changed. And so I've been receiving emails from different seed companies um, that are now starting to take orders from the home gardeners. And as a matter of fact, some of these seed companies seem to have an end of seed sale. But the reason why I ordered so much from Baker Creek Seeds because I wanna show you this email that I received. So this was a couple of weeks ago. It was actually June 10th, but 100% of seed orders was going to help farmers and also seed savers. And so over the next 24 hours, um, they were basically given all of the seed sales. They were giving that money to different people. Now, I didn't see this at the time when I pulled the email back up and I scrolled down a little bit. I was just excited to be able to support. But when I scrolled down a little bit, and I'm not sure what time I actually ordered, but over the 24 hours, they gave you a listing of who all the proceeds would go to during that particular hour all the way up until midnight of June 10. So that was one of the reasons why I ordered such a large order from Baker Creek Seed. Okay, so we're not going to go over everything that's in the bag. Um, I did have a rather large order and I thought it was for a good cause, but I do have some seeds set out that I really wanted to show you because I'm really excited to try. Um, if you don't know, we are in zone 8B, so we have a little bit of a longer um, growing period. And as a matter of fact, during the months of June, July, and August, a lot of our plants um, really feel it because of the heat and the way those sun rays are beating down on it. So I noticed that I think although we had a mild winter um, last season, we had tomatoes that were still growing in December um, here in our garden. So I'm okay with starting seeds a little bit late because it will probably actually be better as far as like um, the pest control and then also um, with the temperature. So let me go ahead and just show you a few of the things that we ordered from Baker Creek Seeds. So I'll put their link below and I will tell you, I probably would have ordered more, but they there are still a lot of things that are out of stock. Um, and so I guess that probably was a good thing for me, but there were some things that are out of stock, but we did get, um, like I said, a good amount ordered. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna start off with the free seeds. What I do like about Baker's Creek is every order you get a free pack of seeds and there has been times where i did a really large order and i think i got like two or three free packs of seeds and it's good you never know what you're going to get but it's it's a great way to try different things so the free seed was the um, paris island lettuce here so that was our free seed packet that we got Okay, so some things that I want to go ahead and try and go ahead and start from seed are these two things. And let me give you a quick backstory of the the amaranth, the green callaloo. This is kind of like the spinach for the summer because spinach is a cool weather um, vegetable. And so this is kind of like your spinach for the summer. And I actually started some callaloo from seed earlier um, maybe like a month and a half ago and I think it was tucked over on the side over here where I didn't see it and we had lots and lots of rain and so with that rain um, I had the, them in the little cell pack trays and they pretty much got drowned out and I figured it out once I walked around and saw that they were just sitting over there just full of water so we had to end up throwing them away. I also got some Chinese multicolor spinach um if you don't know i absolutely love like i can eat a salad pretty much every day and i love adding different types of lettuce in my salad a different type of greens whether it's kale 
um, or baby mustard. So I like having a mixed salad. So I thought that I would try these um, because these can be grown in the summer also. Um, next we have, let me show you what I really thought was cool and I wanted to try. And I'll go ahead and get these seeds put in very quickly. But this is a lemon spice jalapeno pepper. So it's yellow. And um, I read some of the reviews. This one was good. And the, I also got the orange spice. And I noticed that Baker Creek is kind of changing their um, seed packaging a little bit. But this is, they're a jalapeno, but they're orange. And there was also a red one that I do think was out of stock. But I don't, I forgot which color it was because I'm not a person that really likes a hot, hot pepper. I can take a little heat, but not a lot. But I, I love reading the reviews because one particular person said that, you know, they were used to hot stuff but when they tasted whichever color of that jalapeno, they were like, holy moly, it was hot and like super hot. So um, I was really thinking about basically adding these into um, maybe like a salsa or something like that as we continue to grow our tomatoes. Um, so we'll see. And plus I just like the fact that there were different color jalapenos. So that's really why I wanted to grow it. Um, I also wanted to try the miniature white cucumber. Um, these got a lot of nice reviews as well. And so um, we'll go ahead and get a few of these planted also. Now I'm not gonna plant like the whole seed packages. Um, I, these are just things that I really wanted to try. And I figured that I had a little bit of time left in the season to go ahead and get them planted and started. So the last three are things that are for the fall. Um, and we had, I really did order quite a few lettuce varieties, but around mid July to August is when I go ahead and start thinking about what I'm going to plant for the fall. So that was the purpose of me ordering different type of lettuce and mustards. But a few things that I wanted to try this year was this, I'm not even going to pronounce it. It's a type of mustard green. So we wanted to go ahead and start these from seeds, probably, like I said, mid-July or 1st of August. We'll go ahead and start these inside so that when the weather does start to cool, we can go ahead and get them planted and they'll have a jump start. And seriously, y'all, I am trying my best to like succession plant. I don't know why I feel like I got to plant everything at the same time because you're harvesting at the same time. But I did a little bit better this year with kind just trying to succession plant so you don't get one big harvest. Like over the over the season you can just harvest as you need it and not have to figure out like I did last year with the collard greens. I did a lot of freezing of collard greens. Now bok choy is something that I love to steam um, with a little bit of garlic. So we're gonna try some bok choy. Um, this is a different variety. I'm not gonna butcher it up for y'all, but um, we're gonna try this as well. And we also, from last season, ordered a different variety of bok choy. So we'll probably have like two different varieties of bok choy going on. And then I just thought this picture was so pretty with the different type of red lettuce mix. So again, yes, I did order quite a bit and it was for a good cause. And um, I was glad to get that email. I was actually glad to start ordering seeds. So I, I have started back ordering seeds from different companies and I'm just eager to try different things. Um, but as always, thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive a notification each and every time that we upload a new video. Also, we would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up if you like to see more videos like this. Again, thank you so, so much for watching and until the next video. Bye-bye.